If you would like to see how I achieve this look, stick around to the end of the video. So here I'm just going in and sticking on my tips. I did go ahead and did three or five coats of top coat so that I can take off this set because it is for the purpose of this video. So here I'm just gonna glue on the rest of the tips for the rest of my hand and I'm doing this set on only one hand. I am doing extra long so I will be gluing on extra tips just to make that longer. And here I'm going in with my scissors and just trimming the sides to get the shape that I like and to avoid too much filing. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm going in with my 8000 file and just perfecting that shape. Here I'm just going in with my regular application and for this design you do have to carve out um, spaces in the nail and for the pinky I did forgot to do that but later on in the video you will see I'm going back in with my e-file and just drilling the hole. This video is mostly sped up, but for most part, I'm gonna let you guys watch and not talk too much and just watch what I'm doing and you guys will catch on what I'm doing. I feel it video explains itself, so just keep on watching. Any questions, you can leave it in the comments down below. I saw this look on TikTok. I will um, try to put a picture up of the one on TikTok. I think I did 4 out of 10. I will definitely be um, retrying this look and I did it with what I had and not what was neat what not was needed um lol I'm eating up my words but basically I'm just trying to say what the girl used on TikTok I didn't have everything so I just used what I had and you know that wasn't gonna stop me from recreating this look definitely in the future when I have all the you know the right stuff I will be retrying this look Here I'm just using this tool and just digging out a messy hole in the nail but as you can see that the acrylic had time to already dry so on the second nail I'm gonna be using a different method um, you guys can see it's really hard it's stubborn it's not coming out so here I'm just moving as fast as I can and then scraping out the hole that I want the space that I want on the nail and this method is way more easier and I'm going to use the method on the middle finger to do the rest of the nails. And if you ever try this, can you please let me know what method you use to carve out the hole in the nail. Because mine was a little messy because I was just trying to figure it out. It's my first time, I'm a beginner. Anyways, you get the gesture.
just carving out the hole that I forgot to do the first time and just cleaning up that shape for the rest of the nails that I already did. Now you do want to be careful that my fear was this that I would over file and made a hole um, on the other side of the nail and pierce through the nail tip but hopefully I was careful enough so that didn't happen so, but you do want to be aware of that. As you can see, I'm going in with my Dab Pro Diamond Gel and this rhinestone kit is from Shein. If you want to see all the stuff that I got from Shein, I will be listing the video down below. But yeah, so I used what I had and that was not what she used in the video. But like I said, we're going to use what we got. <laughs> and... Um, I was just trying to switch it up a little bit so that's why I use these pearl looking rhinestones right here um, the nails were cute but it was not reflecting it was not giving what I thought it would have give but you know we live we learn So the name of the TikTok page is Tulio Pink and you can go and check out the video and see what she used. Definitely not this. These are huge and yeah. Here I'm just going in with my blooming gel so that the marble look will be way easier to do and to apply. The design will be way easier. Here I did cut off some of the, the part of the video because the angle was not right but here I'm going in with a hot pink, a baby pink and a white and I'm just kind of smushing them together and creating like a marble look. Yeah. As you see me doing in the video, don't overthink it, take your time and just play with it. As you see me doing in this video, I went over it, over certain parts that I didn't like, add more colors to certain areas and yeah, and then I'm just going to put it in the UV light for one minute. The gold gel that you use, I didn't have any, so I just used some foil. And as you can see, I'm going around the circle, kind of doing like a effect. So yeah, I kind of switch it up a little bit, as I said. So I'm just gonna be doing this for the rest of the nail, as you can see in this video. 
just pay attention and if you have any questions don't forget to put it down in the comments down below if you have reached far in this video thank you guys for watching and don't forget to subscribe subscribe to your girl's channel support and stay tuned for any other videos if you have any videos recommended you can let me know down below see you guys